Autism is a perplexing disorder. It consists of children who have dramatic difficulties with social interactions and communication and tend to have language difficulties of various sorts and along with that have kind of ritualistic, obsessive kinds of behaviors. pediatrician said he may have a bit of a developmental delay and I went on the internet and I punched in developmental delay and one of the first words that came up was autism. That was the scariest word that you could have said to me. I called the pediatrician back and said you know I, I just looked up developmental delay and it says autism you know what's going on here and she said she couldn't be sure it was autism, but it was certainly something she would not rule out. And I think that's kind of when it, it hit me. He hit all the physical milestones, but the talking just didn't come. And then when you think back on it, you think, well, yeah, he didn't make a lot of eye contact. He wasn't observing what we were doing like you would see a typical kid. And what's this? What is that? Fern. Good job, Axel. It's a fern. Do you know what that is? Finer. Look, fern. Pine needle. Pine needles. Right. Good job. Do you know what this is? Pine cone. Pine cone. Yeah. You want to put it back in the bag? You put it back in the bag. Rowan has him playing the piano. She kind of shows him where the key is. He can he can play out a melody. Yay! All right, good job. Uh, he he loves to ride bicycles. He rides like this. To watch him go around that track on his bike is amazing. We had a service dog for a while. Axel makes a lot of noise, sudden movements. <laughs> they found the perfect dog for him. It was this big yellow lab that just anything was fine with this dog. And he would hold on to this little loop and we'd go for walks. Unfortunately, the dog got sick um, and died. He didn't show, there was no real emotion shown when suddenly the dog was not there any longer. But he does mention the name, her name was Hades. And he, he mentions Hades once in a while. And if he sees a picture, it's obvious he remembers Hades. His grandma comes like twice a year. She comes from Minneapolis to visit. And when he saw her this last time, he just lit up. <laughs> Ed, he's a caring child. You notice it in these little moments. You have to read between the lines, but it's obvious that he's, he's, he knows how to love. These children will face a lot of problems in the world in that they don't read people very well. They wouldn't even understand what the phrase reading a person means. They need a lot of help around socialization. have to be able to convey the concept to him in order for him to be able to understand how to do something. And this is where BIA is very helpful in kind of 
making you f try to figure out how to get your child to understand the concept. We are going to do our jobs for today, okay? Axel! Axel! Can you put your name next to Roll Call Helper? Good job, Axel. Thank you. Today, we are going to get points for looking. Looking. Everybody, where are your eyes? Can you point to your eyes? Good. Axel, where are your ears? Awesome. And we can get points for giving a compliment. So say something nice to your friend. Awesome. All right, we're going to go back to our lines. All right, Axel, come on. I'm ready. Chances are Axel's never going to be independent. I'm never going to see him probably get married. And I think I'm fairly realistic about that stuff. He's probably never going to have a lot of language. And for everything that I'm not going to be able to do with him in the future, there, there's stuff that I'm going to do with him that I never would have done if he were a typical kid. You have to figure out who your child is, and that's the child that you, you love.